From the impoverished streets of the Democratic Republic of Congo, a polarizing figure has emerged in the recent years, captivating the attention of large portions of the population with promises of divine healing. Dominic Conde, a self-acclaimed prophet, has orchestrated a narrative about a concoction that apparently cures almost anything simply known as the Miracle Juice. This expose delves into the intricate interplay of beliefs, manipulation, and potential harm that encircles this curious phenomenon. First things first, who is this mysterious figure? Dominic Conde stands as one amongst the roughly 600 rich dignitaries in what is perhaps the most struggling nation not only on the African continent, but the entire globe. With a multitude of devout followers at his side, he assumes the mantle of a spiritual guide, sought after by the populace to solve their problems, pains, injuries, and diseases through the conduits of faith and metaphysical wisdom. The age of Conde appears to sit somewhere between 55 to 60 years. However, Dominic Conde remains strangely absent from Wikipedia, though this is compensated by a number of alternate sources online. These sources describe his endeavors and begin to peel away the layers of veneer to expose the truth beneath the mask of this so-called pastor. This role has been his vocation for an extended period of time, spanning decades, yet it's in recent times that his actions have garnered global attention, sparking conversations and contemplations that traverse the international borders. Indeed, his behavior has caused outrage around the globe via the internet. He has left a blazing trail behind him, a procession of countless individuals spanning the expanse of Africa following him, hanging off his every word, with the heart of his influence beating the hardest in his homeland of Congo. In his ministerial capacity, he has created a strange narrative. He proffers a peculiar juice, an elixir so to say, to the poor and the uninformed, a potion allegedly designed to remedy the scourge of AIDS. But the audacious claim don't stop there. He extends his dominion over even the realm of mortality, boasting the power to resurrect the dead, something that has caused much of the global outcry against his work. At the heart of this saga lies the enigma of the miracle juice. Marketed as a fix-all potion to cure almost anything, this concoction boasts, according to Conde, the improbable power to resolve afflictions ranging from AIDS to heart disease, and that it brought a stillborn baby back to life after the application of said juice. In a DW documentary piece of YouTube, Conde is shown arriving in a luxury car to a waiting group of followers hoping for a cure to their ailments. It shows how the miracle juice is made and packaged on site. Many people pull together to buy bottles of the juice to share between families and friends, and the active ingredients listed on the latest packaging? Divine enlightenment. Soon, Conde plans to move production to a larger factory, but for now, it's made right at the location of his church. Many people buy the juice to consume and even bathe in, claiming it cures the effects of many different illnesses. But none of those are proven in science, and is mainly hearsay. Behind the veil of spiritual guidance, Dominic Conde is actually operating a calculated enterprise that capitalizes on the vulnerability of his adherents. Reports have emerged detailing his intentions to establish a factory for large-scale production, as he seeks to market this self-declared miracle product to the Congo's whole population. As his influence extends and his empire expands, huge questions start to rise regarding the authenticity of his motives and the moral quandaries of capitalizing on the desperation of those who seek solace in his teaching. However, the Congolese government has granted him permission to produce the juice. It's worth noting that this isn't always based on medical and scientific advice though. The allure of the miracle juice has grown a culture of unwavering devotion among Conde's followers. This steadfast faith begins to overshadow the total lack of evidence to prove the elixir's healing properties. In the face of an absence of concrete results, the Congolese community persists in channeling their hopes and resources into Conde's enterprise, a testament to the profound impact of unwavering belief amidst adversity. When you have nothing to lose, you're willing to believe in even the craziest things. Beneath the surface, the promises of marvels and miraculous recoveries, the miracle juice is actually very dangerous and harmful for those who consume it. The inclusion of unconventional ingredients, notably gasoline, carry serious health risks that experts deem hazardous. I mean, yeah, it's kind of common sense that you really should and drink gasoline. The relentless pursuit of a cure may inadvertently exacerbate the afflictions that Conde's believers hope to vanquish using the juice. 
It isn't clear whether Kandi truly believes himself that the potion he has brewed up is capable of producing the miracle cures he claims it is. It is possible, of course, that he is misguided by his own blind faith. However, what is more likely is that he is using his position of power and influence to manipulate the citizens of one of the world's least fortunate nations into believing giving him their money in exchange for a miracle cure is the best way to treat their ailments. Thank you so much for watching this video and a special thanks to DW Documentary. Most of the research for this video was based on their take on this case. I would highly recommend you to go and watch their video. It's super interesting. It's also what inspired me to make this video. So if you enjoyed watching and want more content like this in the future, then please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.